New Brunswick CEO Dave Fuchs is with me. Dave, I often think, that, you know, when we talk about boats, if you can afford a hundred, two hundred, three hundred thousand dollar boat, are you that worried about a bit of interest rates and a bit of hard times? Yeah, well, thank you for having me with you, uh, Richard, very much. Of course, we have a whole uh, range of boats from $10,000 to much higher prices, as you mentioned. So certainly higher interest rates are affecting a segment of the boats that we sell, more like the value boat segment. More impact there than they are in the premium boat segments. But we certainly do have a lot of customers for whom interest rates mean a lot. This boat that docks itself... Um, now, I sort of think it must be quite difficult, but then I think, hang on, if a car can park itself on a busy high street, a boat should be able to work out how to dock itself. Yes, and that's what we're demonstrating today. You know, the, the difficulty is a, a, a higher for a boat because it has waves and wind and current acting against it that don't really impact a road vehicle. So a lot of more variables to play with. And the other thing is, you know, in a parking space, it's usually quite well defined. There are white lines either side of it or two cars either side of it. Whereas docking a boat, uh, the shape of docks, the form of docks, the height of docks is very different. So it's a much less overall structured environment. So we need more AI really involved to help the boat understand the environment react to the current and waves and winds, make sure it's successful in docking every time. Is it, I'm watching the video of it doing it. Is it impressive when, it, when you see it happen? And, and crucially, impressive. And, and, and crucially, can it dock between two boats? Yes, it can. It can dock in a whole range of uh, scenarios. And docking can be one of the most stressful maneuvers in a boat. It's, it's one of the things that you don't really want to go out on a long trip on a boat and be worrying all the way back about the docking <laughs> experience. So it's, it's one of the stressful things that we would like to take away, particularly for the less experienced boater, and give them some assistance. It's not like a road vehicle in where autonomy is trying to detach the vehicle or the, the driver from the experience. We don't want to do that. We're really just trying to take the stress out of very specific situations. OK, sir. Dave, there's only one final thing you've got to promise me. Because I like boats, but I'm not a boat lover. Uh, and I actually can't imagine anything that I'd rather in less than a, an expensive boat. So you and I need to go out on a boat and try and... We would love to have you host you on one of our boats. You will love the experience, Richard. I can guarantee it. Nah, I shall take your word for it, sir. <laughs> I, I shall take your word for it, even if it won't dock itself. Good to see you. Beautiful day. I hope your time up on the boat side is good and the boat show is good. And I'm very grateful for you. Thank you. Thank you for having us, Richard. Appreciate it very much. Oh, a day on the boat. Uh,